What is up YouTube? This is Jose360 back and today I'm bringing you an unboxing of the Razer Mamba Mouse. So this is the brand new, well it's not really brand new but it's the 2012 edition so that's the latest edition now. I know it's 2013 but it's still pretty brand new. And the Razer Goliath is speed edition mouse mat, mouse mat. This is the medium size. Now just before I get into this the unboxing, I would like to say a big thank you to Hutch Designs for doing my brand new channel background. So if you have not seen that yet, go check it out on my channel in the little channel link below. And uh, yeah, really check this guy out too. He does pretty great backgrounds for his uh, price. So yeah, now we're going to get into the unboxing of the Razer Goliathus. Now unfortunately I will not do, be doing this professionally. The review of the Mamba I will, but not the unboxings anyway so this is just a mouse pad this is the speed edition so it's got a smoother cloth than most others and it comes in medium small and all that and it just popped open there so anyway here we go you un you open it and there's that's mainly it anyway so here it is if you want to get a size comparison put that down there we go so there's the box of a mamba so the mouse yeah it's pretty it's a good size for the mouse now if you just want to take a look I know most of you here for the mamba on the bottom here you've got this nice kind of rubbery uh, so it will stick to the desk and on the top you've got a nice very very it's very hard I think you can see it there Look at that that's smooth because it is the speed edition uh, with some nice razor art here so anyway that's mainly it for that I'll swap these guys over and now the piece de resistance, du, 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 du. the Razer Mamba. Woo! So this thing retails in stores about oh, I think it's a hundred and eighty dollars, maybe. I got a pretty good deal on it from one of our local stores who were having a Christmas sale, so that was pretty cool. And here we go. So on the bottom here you've just got just basic specs this does feature a one millisecond response time it's got a 6500 dpi oh is it 6500 i believe no it's 6400 dpi and you've also got amazing features like you can uh, set your like lift off distance so you can have it to like two millimeters if you lift off the mouse that much but that's mainly it around it and on the bottom there's some barcodes and stuff this does feature the 4G dual sensor system now what this basically is is a laser light and an optical so you've got dual sensor providing you most accuracy and this mouse is judged as one of the best mouses in the world so anyway you take the bottom off here and then you've just got welcome to the cult of razor I've seen this message before and it's a little card okay here we go we'll undo this first there we go now in the first little flip here you will find this is basically your introduction into razor if you've bought razor products in the past you know what this is congratulations there's no turning back uh, just basic information I might read those oh my god Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. So anyway, next up in this bottom drawer, you will find your base. Now this is a fantastic little base transmitter. So what you'll find on here, this little ring around it, is a uh, multicolored lighting if you have the 2012 edition. And on the bottom here, you've got this rubberized material, similar to one on this, but not as. Oh, this one's a lot more high quality uh, to keep this on the desk. Now you've got two charging pins here because this does have a rechargeable battery, and you've got your little cable input back here. So that's mainly it for. You've got a nice little raised emblem there. So I'll put that off to the side. Uh, now what do we have next? Okay, so as I was saying, here you've just got your battery and little battery flap. So if you, that's just a little piece of plastic. And here's the battery itself. It's a pretty thick battery. Weighs well, a good bit, but it does last you for 16 hours continuous gaming, according to Razer. Um, I will be using this mouse for about a few days and get my real opinion on all these facts that they put out there. And anyway, so here we go. Next up, you have your cable. So this is a typical kind of razor cable, but with a difference. So as you can see here, you've got a USB with a little cap on. It's gold-plated. 
Oh, I hate doing, not doing these professionally. There we go. Okay, so it's a gold-plated USB, and it's all braided. And on here, you've got a special adapter. So this one's actually really cool. It plugs into the base and to the mouse if you want a wire, wired or wireless solution. So the way that works is I can't do it in the mouse yet. But anyway, so it's the same kind of mini USB plug as both. So if you, even though this is one of the world's fastest wireless mouses, uh, you may still want to have that little bit more of a fast edge so you plug it in. So anyway, let's get the instructions on how to open this. I reckon you just lift it up? Yeah. Just lift it up. There we go. By the way, you know a product's good when it comes in like probably two mils of plastic. Okay, so there, there you have it. You've got the Razer Mamba. And if I... Okay, I'm going to need instructions for this. How to unclip it. Okay. Oh, simple as that. Oh, no. This is all good. Oh god, <laughs> don't do this to me. Oh god. Um. Hmm. Okay, so we are in a bit of a predicament here. I uh, will edit this out and I will let you know how I go. <laughs> So, I finally got it off its little operating table here. <laughs> so, on the bottom here, you will find you've just got a little opening for your battery and you've got your dual sensor system here with two charging pins. Also, on the bottom, you've got your uh, connect button and your on and off. And as I was saying here, you've got your little wireless, wire, wireless solution. Now, you just pop that in there and it will, once you get it right, there we go. Now the only way you can actually undo it is by holding that back and so yeah it won't come out while you're gaming. On the top of the mouse it's got this nice kind of rubberized feeling, got a black uh, razor symbol and on the side here you've got two uh, two macros that you can set and you've got your on the fly DPI so plus and minus. Also down here you've got if this is really bad focus. Um, your indicator light so that is your profile lights I believe. And that's mainly it. Now, if, as you can see, if I do this, this is incredibly sensitive. It's hard while doing it in midair, but it's a very good mouse, and I will be back with my professional review. So this is when I edit and blah, 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 and commentate over it with my Blue Yeti. Hopefully that's coming. Oh, I'll need to pick that up, actually. Anyway, so... I'll go pick that up and I'll be back to you within a few days with an unboxing and review of both of these brilliant devices. And thank you for tuning in and I will see you guys later.